a big that's a big jump. Um, again, this is where maybe um, maybe not quite so realistic. Um, I don't know. I guess ad campaigns are effective, can be effective, and also very expensive. But to jump from you know a 20% market share to a 74% market share, um, just intuitively in the real wor world, I don't know if that happens so often. But I'm certainly not um, an economist or anything of that nature, so, so I could be wrong. But that's what it's telling us. Okay, so let me point out one other thing real quick, and then um, I'll be near done in this video, nearly done. Um, Notice if we multiply notice if we multiply our our initial distribution matrix 0 0.2, 0 0.8 times the probability matrix. So what that means is we would be multiplying 0 0.2 times 0.8 and then we would multiply that by the probability matrix 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, 0 0.3 if you multiply this, remember again matrix multiplication, we multiply rows by columns, we would get 0 0.2 times 0 0.9 plus 0 0.8 times 0 0.7, which again is going to give us 0.74. And then if we take um, our first row times our second column, we're going to get 0.26. So the moral of the story, we calculated the, prob the market share after one week by using this little tree diagram. What I'm trying to illustrate is really we can just do a matrix multiplication and this is going to represent the the first, what's called the first state matrix. And again this first state matrix says that if you do launch this ad campaign assuming everything's correct uh, the next time people to go to buy orange juice at random, it's going to turn out that of the orange juice that gets sold, you can expect to have 74% of the market share for brand A and 26% for um, some other brand. Suppose we want to know um, what share of the market we're going to have two weeks later. Well, now we're kind of starting back over in a sense um, because now assuming and this is the big assumption we're gonna assume okay so this is the big assumption we're gonna assume from week to week um, we're gonna assume from week to week that as long as this advertising campaign is going on that this this probability matrix is gonna stay valid okay so again what that means is if you start with brand A there's a 90 percent chance you'll stay with it a 10% chance you'll s switch to something else. If you don't use brand A, there's a 70% chance you'll switch into it, and there's a 30% chance you'll switch into something else. Well, if we want to figure out the market share two weeks later, all we would need to do is take the proportion of the people, um, the, the, the market share that happened one le week later, which is 0.74, times 0.26 and then again we would just simply multiply it by this probability matrix 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.7, 0 0.3 you can check my arithmetic here I got the values 0 0.848, 0 0.152, 0 0.152 so this says two weeks later Brand A now controls almost 85% of the orange juice market, while other brands have uh, just a touch over 15%. Maybe we do one more. We want to figure out the market share after three weeks of running this ad campaign. We would take the proportion um, that was using Brand A after two weeks, and again, assuming this probability matrix uh, does not change, we'll just multiply by that again. And the values I got in this case are 0.8696 and 0.1304. Okay, so a couple natural questions. Um, you know, I think one big question here for sure is notice Brand A's market share is going up from week to week. Um, you know, notice from the first week, uh, you know, of running the campaign, it actually went from 20% to 74%. That's a huge jump. Then it went from 74 to uh, almost 85, which is still, a, you know, 
a decent jump, certainly not as big. And notice now it's still going up, it's almost 87%, but you know, it's definitely not increasing as fast. So one natural question would be, um, based on this probability matrix, if, if they keep up this advertising campaign, can you, can you assume that they'll ever get 100% of the market share? Um, or does it somehow level off? That's going to be something that's, that's important. But this is the basic um, idea of a Markov chain. Um, this, is, this, is, this is a Markov chain. It's basically just a process. So let me give you a technical definition here real quick.